What is up everybody and welcome back to another tutorial and this is another episode of my Super Crate Box series and today we're going to be looking at how to spawn random crates in different places that are on solids. So let's create a new object called O Crate and we want the sprite of this to be S Crate and click add event. Actually, let's do this later. It's okay for now. Now, basically, what we want to do and what we're trying to achieve here is trying to spawn these crates either here, 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 or here. All right. And to do this, we need to find each x coordinate. All right. So let's go into our O player and let's go on the draw event. Now, this is only temporary. Find x and y mouse cores coordinates so basically we're gonna say draw self now this is because game maker deletes the sprite it's drawing if you don't state it and then draw text now the text that we're gonna be drawing is the x and y coordinate of the mouse as i've stated previously so we're gonna say string mouse x and this this variable is um outputs the x coordinate of the mouse plus and then make a bunch of spaces so there's an in a difference. And then string mouse underscore y. Cool. Now the reason why we do this is so we can see like what x coordinate is here, what x coordinate is here, and it just makes things a little uh, simpler for us for us. So you can see up here we have our coordinates. Let's go, let's, let's see if we can get this one first. Let's go down here. And you can see here, the y value is in fact, uh, let's see, around 307. Okay. And the x value is from 163, 163 to around 440, around there, you know. So what we're going to do is go into our create, create object in our create event and drag in the code. Now once again, this is going to be dependent on your game. Now obviously I didn't supply the sprite, so your values are going to be totally different. So you're going to need to do this by yourself. I'm just going to show you how to do it. So in the create event, we're going to create a new variable called next y. And next y is basically telling us... Um, what the next y value is going to be. And we're going to use the choose function. And here we can choose a bunch of variables or values that is going to be randomly chosen. So the first one that we saw before, the y value was in fact 307. So we're just going to use that one value for now. Make sure to use randomize at the start just to make sure that it's totally random. Now we're going to use a switch statement. Actually, wait, before that, one thing that you want to note is that, let's say, let's say that one crate spawns right here. Alright, um, well, you know what, I'll do this later, because this is not relevant to the create event. Okay, now this is switch. Oh, yeah, and this next y, y equals next y. Okay, because that's randomly chosen. Now, you're going to say switch y. Then case three or seven. Okay. Now I'll, I'll tell you what this switch statement does. If you don't know what a switch statement is, is basically like a if and else if statement. It just makes it much clearer. All right. So we're gonna say if the y value is equal to three hundred and seven, which is that middle platform we just measured, then x equals, and you can choose a random number, random underscore range. And here we can say, let's say, uh, uh, 163, and around 400, I think. Yeah, let's make it 400. All right, now let's take a look at our game. Let's put our crate in the room. Uh, put it over here. All right, let's see how this goes. You can see here, bang, you see it spawns right there. 
and you can see that's perfectly measured, so I didn't need to tweak any values. Now I should add a restart button, and what a restart button does is, so we can see the different generations. So create a new object called O Control. It doesn't need to have a sprite, and just say on the key press of R. R R R. Room underscore restart. So we'll play the game again. And you can see now if I continuously click R. Oops, I forgot to put that in the room. Sorry about that. Alright, well, if I continue to keep on pressing R, you can see. Look at that, it spawns in random places. And 400 is around, oh, it's over there. That's all right, we can extend them if we want to, but I'm not gonna do that. Cool. Now you can just gonna do this for all of these platforms, and I'll be back when I'm finished. All right guys, well, I've just finished, and you can see here I've got a bunch of values, and I've commented them top, middle, top right, middle, bottom left, bottom right, whatever. So let's play the game and see how this goes. So now you can see every time I reset, oh, that's one thing we need to do. Make sure that in your next Y, you choose all of the Y values. So 125, 218, 218.5. That's another thing. One thing I want to tell you guys is that when you are doing this, let me go up here. Let's say you have, um, you want to find a value here and one here. Now they have the exact same coordinate. Just add maybe point 0.1 or something, you know, it doesn't make too much of a difference. In fact, yeah, I should do point 0.1. That's a little more discreet, and it just alters the, um, a little bit. So, right here, 218.5, sorry, uh, what else, 396 and 396.1. Now let's see this how this goes. reset and you can see look it spawns in all these different places that's totally random and this might not be the best way to do it but in my opinion it gets things done and that's like the most important thing when you're creating games cool so now we've got that but however if we go up to the crit and walk into it nothing happens let's make it so that when we walk into it it'll change so I'm gonna copy all this code Control C and go into our player object and say collision with O crane. So in here we're gonna put some code, alright? Um, first thing we're gonna do is say flip and change. So previously in our previous tutorials we had a variable called change weapon. Now that we collide with the crate, we do want to change our weapon. So say change whip equals false. We will in fact add this functionality probably in the next episode. Next you want to say change position of crate. Let me, set, let me just delete this. Alright, so with other because we want this to be in reference to the crate. And then paste. So now it's going to generate all this again. Now there's one problem here, and that's that. Let me just organize this a little. And that's if, let's say, let's say our crate is right there. And then we pick at it again, and let's say it randomly spawned in the exact same position. Now it's kind of unlikely, but it happens if you play the game a lot. So to fix this problem, what we do is go to our O crate, no, O player. In our collision with the oak crate right here, we're gonna say below where we define the next y variable, we're gonna say while next y is equal to y, then we're gonna generate this again. So basically, we're saying let's just put a random value into next y out of these. 
couple of values. All right. Now, if any of these values are the exact same as our current y position, while that that's happening, then continuously generate a new number until this condition is met false, and then it will continue down the list. So that just makes sure that just that just makes sure that um, it will always have a random position. Now this is the same code that we're going to be using for our weapon system where we pick up weapons and if it's the same weapon as our previous one we're going to generate it again. So let's see how this goes. Boop. Boop. Cool. It works well. Cool. There's one thing I forgot to change that Whoops, it's just meant to be true. <laughs> Sorry if you guys noticed that, but uh, I just wasn't on my game then. Alright, yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial. You can see our crates are working. They spawn randomly around the screen. Of course, that might take a while, especially if yours is a lot different to my layout. And, yeah, I hope you guys will like the game. In the next episode, we're going to be creating our weapon system, where every single time we get a new crate, we're, our new weapon will appear in our hands. And yeah, Peace out, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.